Give us the latest assessment. Who is going ahead and who is behind? Hazawar is hurting the Democratic Party yeah. big time. They don't have any clear answer on it. Whatever is happening in the world right now, it, it, is, it is happening due to the weak foreign policy of Obama and the White yeah. House. Israel is taking the advantage of uh, a weak foreign policy and that is hurting the Democratic Party big time. What initiative, what immediate step Mr. Trump could take uh, do you think that he will be in a position to immediately uh, take an initiative for immediate ceasefire in Gaza and in Lebanon? He's blaming the Obama policies towards Iran and then uh, easing up the sanctions on oil producing and making money and sending that money to Hamas, Hezbollah and Houthis. Second blame is this, that America has financed $295 billion towards Ukraine war and their war is not American. It is a European war. In case Mr. Trump comes, um, would he have that type of uh, immense influence on Pakistani political and judicial system that he could get Khan out of the prison? Absolutely not. American or any third party or any country will intervene into the sovereign country's judicial system and uh, interfere. There will be a lot of trade opportunities. Opportunities will be offered to Pakistan and it will be a new beginning of new relationship. But if you are trying to make a contingent towards one political agenda, I don't agree with it. Do you think Mr. Trump will follow the same policy which uh, he followed? He made his review, his stance towards immigrants. Donald Trump is in a favor of immigration. The people, those come here to US, they need to understand American values and respect Americans' value. I have no affiliation with any political party in Pakistan. I'm nothing but an American, but it, it is a sad moment. It is a, it's a, it's a tragedy. It's a, it's a practically a tragedy that nobody cares about the grassroots issues, like export of the products and then law and order and uh, political stability or anything.